day. <laughs> That's all I can think of. <laughs> and now pancake day's coming up. So we thought we should get cooking. Really? It's not, it's not baking, it's cooking, right? It's cooking. Making? Making? Let's get making. making. <laughs> pancake making. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a lovely tools. We've got a quiz and art. Uh, what's it called? Griddle and grill. Griddle and grill, which is like super cool. So you got the smooth plates, and you also have grilled like pinini plates. And we've got our lacroix pancake shaking thing. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a. This is a lacroix. What do you call it? Cis- a citrus sprayer. A citrus sprayer. So this is something. This is something a bit. It's a mystery product for yeah. the end. We it's were a bit all shocked. And I'm sure you will be too. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually brilliant, to be fair. It is. And then we have the ingredients, you know, spatula. The things that you will need. So let's get started. So let's get yeah. started. What's... We start with the Lacroix La pancake shaker. No one likes to mix. No one has time for that anymore. Yeah, mix and sort of thing of the past. So, do we need the... It's, like in... it's just instructions inside, and I'm guessing... Oh, it tells you the instructions here as well. So basically, it looks like a. The best thing to describe it is that it looks like a protein shaker. Mm-hmm. So it's got these two balls in it. And on the side. Like a mesh. On the side of the jar? Or the, what do you call that? The jar or the. What do you call that? Yeah, the container. The, the, the container. side of the container, you've got like a measuring. And then you've got your ingredients. So on it, it's got ingredients for, I think it's. Pancake and crepes. Crepe. So I'm guessing. My guess is if we do the whole we don't read instructions kind of people, mm-hmm. you follow the you follow what's on the side, fill up to the lines, and we should be good to go. Yeah. The interesting thing is crepes is in French and pancakes is in English. Look at that. Oh, I mean, yeah. at least you have like little icons, so it's like you can't go wrong. Like there's an egg and there's like a little bit of like like an oil thing, and because on the other side you have the similar icons, you can kind of make it out. I think that's really cool because it's like, it's always a fine line between whether it's going to be a pancake or a crepe and you're making it if you don't know your ingredients. I don't, so that would be perfect for me. So what's, so I'm guessing by looking at this, there's no baking powder in a crepe. No, because it's flat. But I've never put baking powder in a pancake. But it's probably already in your mix and you didn't know that. Or your flour, normally you you get like the flour that already has it. Oh, so for Because, yeah. Because that's the one, that's what makes it nice and fluffy. Ah. Okay. See, I'm learning a lot here. <laughs> so, I mean, all these years of my life to realize I'm doing it wrong. Because I, I always make crepes because it's just like, and then I'm like, why do I have these flat pancakes? But now I know. <laughs> there's, Is that one there's, there's, there's a rice. difference though. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, pause, time out. Is... Yeah. I oh mean, my days. My, there's, a, there's a grandma recipe that like everyone, like Aunt Jemima's. Uh, the shaky like, one. Her mix has a little bit of extra baking powder, oh, so that it makes nice so and fluffy. So, but if you go to like restaurants and stuff, they make them small and they're like this thick, very soft as well. But that's because of the melted butter, and that's the only objection I have with the shaker thing. Because the melted butter for for making pancakes in my house makes a difference. It makes them nice and like soft, and my sister likes it like that. Yeah. So how many pancakes does this actually make? That's, that's a good really question. good question. So we are three. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing it's six. Here. Okay, look, it says it there. So it's six. Minimum preparation oh, yeah, time, 20 minutes, and then it cooks It cooks for six. Six pancakes, 10 crepes. Yeah, so I'm guessing you, it says you only shake for 30 seconds. So we're going to get your stopwatch out 30 as well. seconds? Yeah, that's shake time. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, let's, let's get, get started. started. All right, so I'll read out what you need, and then you could like put it in. <laughs> so, um, it starts with milk first. Milk. So I'm going up to the line. Yeah. Um, it's only seven ingredients. So it's like, it's milk, flour, egg, baking powder, um, tables, like tablespoon of oil, um, teaspoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of salt. I'm not good at <laughs> Okay, so... Well, that's over the line. But yeah. That's all right. What's I next? Need... So you've got milk. Next is flour. You're going to have to evenly kind of... You know what no, I mean? it, it will the mixture should start to get. It will float, but I'm guessing it for it to be up to the line, you're gonna have to make sure it's evenly around. Do you know what I mean? This is when you need like your green farm level, level, up. I'm just gonna see that. You're gonna have to tap. Like, no. Because you need to. Get oh that. yeah. Oh, you know what? Just use this. 
Oh wait, hold on. There you go. Okay. And the next one is the one egg. How many eggs is it? Just the, Just one. the one. No shell. Just the inside. <laughs> <laughs> one I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say a teaspoon of baking powder. It doesn't actually say. It I'll just it has like a little sh shake. That's okay. This. It's gonna be really fluffy. Very fluffy. Alright. That's alright. One tablespoon of oil. I didn't even know you put oil in pancakes. Not I put oil in the pan. Yeah. But you know, it's like when you put oil on the meat, it's better than sometimes putting oil in the pan in the meat. Like deep steak. Spoon I rub oil. But it helps with like mixing all the ingredients and also again the texture but it cooks it better as well. And then it, you've got a teaspoon of sugar. A teaspoon of sugar. I mean, mother's skin. I don't know. So no, you can eyeball it. Eyeball I'm it. gonna eyeball it this time. So you just that's some yeah. the same thing as salt, but it's better I rather less salt I than more salt. Less salt than yeah. yeah. There you go, that's enough. <laughs> You put Nutella in there as well. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> that's it already. Okay. That's it. And then the last ingredient are the two bowls. Is that it? Yeah. And then you put the mesh. I did think it would be more mixture. Yeah. But then I suppose it needs air. It needs room to shake. And then you twist the top part. Please, can you check the Make sure that the lid is... Closed. Okay, cool. So we're just going to do two pancakes for now. We'll pour them in. <laughs> At some point. <laughs> Sean should share his um, his, one. his number one tip for making perfectly round pancakes. Oh, so you kind of pour from the... You start from the center. I think this is done. Oh, so you start from the center and you kind of circle it out. From the middle though, you don't go out wide. If you do it circling from the middle, it goes out by itself. Some people actually go out, and that's when it starts uh, to go wrong. Wow. Perfectly round pancake. See? Voila! Done. We've done a couple of trials before, that's why you kind of see that like it's the last batter. You can make six of them. Um, but what we'll do is we'll let these cook. Yeah, I would. And then we'll just show you how it like finishes. Okay, so these are now done. Nice and golden. Sweet. Ooh, they smell good. I'm gonna turn this off now. It's nice and hot. Okay, so it's normally a tradition to have pancakes with like sugar yeah. and lemon. A really cool product that we love from Le Quai. Le Quai, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so a really cool product from Le Quai is the citrus sprayer. Which um, looks really weird at first, but all you do is you cut the first top, like the the, the top of your lemon or um, your whatever, whatever citrus fruit you've got, grapefruit, like orange, whatever it might be. You kind yeah. of screw it in, okay, and then it kind of looks like a spray, like a spray bottle. And all you do is you spray for a little bit of freshness instead of actually like squeezing it out. Yeah. So you can get. Um, the full vitamins and all that stuff and you don't get the pulp inside of either instead you just get the juice so that's quite nice for that added freshness so you could use it for your chicken your salads when you're seasoning other meats or like um i don't know like salmon or fish or whatever it might be i'm guessing as well if you keep it screwed in mm -hmm. doesn't it kind of I don't, I'm not saying it's yeah, it's, but will it keep it fresher for longer? It will keep it fresh for longer. Because you kind of got a seal, it's got a yeah. seal. And you can, everything's detachable, just like the um, the pancake shaker as well. So it's dishwasher safe and so it's really easy to clean. And the really interesting thing about these two products, even though they're really simple and like made out of like silicone and stuff and plastic. BPA free. BPA free, yes. <laughs> um, they all have a 10 year guarantee. Which is perfect, because yeah. I mean, I don't know what you'd do with these that would <laughs> damage them, years. but they've got a 10 year guarantee. So basically you're covered if anything goes wrong, whenever. Yeah. Wow. If ever. If ever, exactly. So it's perfect. So we okay. should um, definitely dig in and see how these came out. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll eat these. We'll eat these. And we'll see you later. <laughs> we'll see you later. Don't forget to <laughs> like and subscribe and share with all your friends.